What's good, everyone? This is Raw Truth Media giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. Peace and blessings, peace and love to everyone that's listening. And as you see, is an archive of all of my oldest videos of 2020. When I started to do YouTube again around the summertime of that year. And I didn't want to go back to YouTube. I'm being honest with everybody. But a lot of YouTubers contacted me and said, man, we need you back. We need you keeping that real. Because I don't know if you all know this, but at that time, I was the only one before all the other channels became what they are. I was the only one that wasn't like mainstream. I was an outlier. I was in my own lane. So I may not have had 50K uh, viewed videos or 100K viewed videos, but I was a channel people would go to for unfiltered content. I didn't compromise. I kept it a buck. And that has never changed to, still to this day. It's the same thing. But everything I was talking about when I made those videos stands true still to this day. Matter of fact, LaMelo Ball just confirmed everything I've been talking about before it was popular when he first got drafted. And I'm showing you the archives. When LaMelo got drafted in late November of 2020, I broke it all down. I did my research on James Borrego and his style of coaching. And it was not a popular opinion at the time. They thought I was being harsh, but I was just being honest. But this is what LaMelo stated. And I quote, when they really put the keys in my hands, I feel like it's going to be a whole new situation. But until then, I'm going to keep doing what I need to do. Just try to get these wins, says LaMelo. Again, look at that. When I get them keys in my hands. Now, who's been talking about giving LaMelo the keys for the longest? I'm showing you right here on the archive videos. But let me keep going on. He also says, and I quote, I ain't going to lie. Every game I feel like I could do more than what I'm doing. It's just about reading the whole game and reading the whole situation. Another key word, reading the whole game, reading the situation. Sounds familiar? A game within the game. Understanding the situation that you're in and having to overcome so many obstacles that's beyond basketball. LaMelo is clearly aware of the situations he's in and that it's not normal for him of his talent, his caliber. If you look at all the young players in the NBA, John Morant, Luka, Trey Young, and many more, Everything's set right for them. The roster fits for them. The coaching is superb. They're more developed because they were handed the keys and able to close out fourth quarters. LaMelo has been begging for this, and rightfully so. He deserves this. He couldn't even get his jersey number. They couldn't even give him the number one jersey because Malik Monk, who hasn't accomplished serious success, let's be real now, wouldn't give him his number. You know what you do as an NBA owner? You either trade him earlier so LaMelo can have that number or you tell Malik Monk, hey, LaMelo's are highly rated draft pick so we're gonna switch your number 
Those are the two things you do. The top three, top two picks, they get what they want. And something as simple as a jersey number, LaMelo couldn't even get that. Again, they had to do this, quote unquote, he has to earn it. But let me keep reading this article because this is really good. And I quote, he says, and everybody being on the same page, the consistency part, once that clears, I feel like we'll be straight. He also states that the season isn't successful until you win a championship, but it's also pretty much always about being better than last year. So last year we were in the play-in. This year, hopefully we get into the playoffs, win a first round, something like that. Just keep going up from there. And I feel like we're going, we're like a big away. One that can clog up the whole paint, rebound, put that bitch in the hands and let me rock. That's how I be feeling. And then we're going to be straight. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Sounds familiar, doesn't it? I showed y'all the archives. I showed y'all the the same sayings that we've been saying. And I think LaMelo listens to a lot of YouTubers. I truly do. But I also believe he keeps to himself. I don't know LaMelo personally. But LaMelo seems like one of those brothers who he sees himself as just like everybody else. I'm sure he doesn't want to be around anyone that is a super fan. Uh, uh, on his jock every time. I, I, I think he would despise that, and rightfully so. But I like what he said because I had a Twitter debate with someone who was a JB supporter three days ago when they were telling me that if the Hornets don't win a playoff series, it's not a failure. It is a failure. LaMelo just stated it would be a failure if they don't do better than last year. So Hornets, y'all know the drill. Y'all got to win a playoff series. Y'all got to not only win a a playing game, you got to win a playoff series. You got to be better than the year before. And Hornet fans, y'all got to realize this team loses its luxury of rebuilding you didn't want to build with young guys you didn't want to build with uh, James Booknight JT Thor and others you wanted to have Gordon Hayward and Terry Rozier be your focal points and you see where that's going so clinching a play-in series is not an accomplishment I'm sorry And LaMelo said the same thing in this article. He's not with the loser. And I'm glad he's being vocal. He's been dealing with the bullshit for almost two years with this organization. And he's fed up. And I'm glad he's speaking out. In the last couple of games, I don't know if you noticed, but LaMelo's minutes have increased. But I still see the fuckery. I still see the bad substitutions but hopefully that gets rectified but I just wanted to bring that to attention shout out to LaMelo Ball for not sugarcoating anything and being authentic and Hornets the Hornets organization I gotta do right by this brother if you wanna keep him when his contract is up that's all I gotta say Thank you to the Raw True family. Y'all been rocking with me since day one. Y'all didn't switch up. Y'all didn't just go along, get along with all different narratives. You were consistent with my channel. So I appreciate you guys. And I'm out.